Love knows no boundaries. Tomorrow on four? I need some more Brillo Pass. Myra, don't make out your shopping list in the middle of our love scene. Suppose I were to run off with Paul Newman. You wouldn't run off with him. You'd stay at home and wash his socks. I, I don't love her, Mum. I fancy her, that's all. But you can't just take what you fancy. You think Mum's books are rubbish too, don't you? Don't be ridiculous. Ecstasy. In a Myra Foster book. Tropical Moon Over Dorking, tomorrow at nine on four. Never. You're watching LWT. Now, the night thoughts of Wayne Sampson. Before I received Jesus into my life, my vision for the future was very small. All I basically wanted to do was get through. Life was very finite, almost pointless. One would work, eat, sleep, bring up families, retire and die. It looks like a crazy situation, all that effort. For what? Survival of the species? The species will not matter to you or me after death. By accepting the gospel message, my vision has been broadened beyond recognition. My spirit is free from the constraints man and circumstance wish to place upon it. This is not escapism. The message of Christ is clearly to get involved. Each of us can affect other lives for the better. We do not have to rely on committees, pressure groups or politics to change the world. Prayer is powerful and God changes things through his people. The disciples turned from quivering cowards to be the vanguards of Christianity almost overnight. I cannot believe that the disciples invented the story of Jesus' resurrection. They reported what they saw. My experience is in my own way to see Jesus. In John's first epistle we read this. I'm writing this to you so that you may know that you have eternal life, you that believe in the Son of God. With that promise, my horizons are now infinite. Good night. The weather forecast for the LWT area. By Saturday morning, any rain will have cleared, but it may remain rather cloudy for a time before it brightens up later in the morning. And there'll even be some sunshine in the afternoon. The highest temperature, near 8 degrees Celsius, 46 Fahrenheit. Winds light westerly. Nice weather for a spot of adventuring. And that's exactly what the A-Team has in mind when they head for South America in search of Tonya Baker's fiancé, who went to the Amazon to disappear. Some people really do choose their spots, don't they? A feature-length story at 5.35 this Saturday evening. More fiendish stunts will be perpetrated on our unsuspecting persons by Jeremy Beadle. He's about at 7.15. At 7.45, the search for the new face of 1986 reaches its climax when Marty Kane presents the grand final. We continue our series of murder plays at 9.15. Francis de la Tour, Ronald Lacey and Warren Clark with Annette Crosby star in our Unnatural Causes story, Partners, a tale of frustrated and confused passions. Following the news at 10.30, snooker, the second session of the three-session final. £50,000 to the winning team of the Hofmeister World Doubles. Some of our programmes for Saturday night. Television's Saturday morning begins with TVAM at 6.55. London's independent local radio stations, LBC and Capital, will be on the air throughout the night. We'll be back in a very few hours at 9.25. But for the moment, from me, Peter Lewis, on behalf of all our little barnacles here on the South Bank, have a refreshing night and a very good weekend. The time now, believe it or not, is almost 
two minutes to three o'clock. just before we go out into the night, or is it the morning, may I remind you, as usual, to switch off your set. Remember the big fight at 9.25. Good morning. <laughs>